COVID-19 vaccines, questions and concerns. What type of COVID-19 vaccines are available? The mRNA and viral vector vaccines are the two types of currently authorized COVID-19 vaccines available in US. mRNA vaccines, Pfizer-BioNTech COVID-19 vaccine and Moderna COVID-19 vaccine. Viral vector vaccines, Johnson & Johnson's Janssen COVID-19 vaccine. Are COVID-19 vaccines safe and effective? These vaccines are undergoing in most intensive monitoring in U.S. history. All COVID-19 vaccines are safe and effective. Millions of people have safely received a COVID-19 vaccine. Over 204 million doses of COVID-19 vaccine have been given in the United States from December 14, 2020 through May 31, 2021. How long does the protection from COVID-19 vaccine last? We don't know how long protection lasts for those who are vaccinated. What we do know is that COVID-19 has caused very serious illness and death for a lot of people. If you get COVID-19, you may also risk giving it to loved ones who may get very sick. Getting a COVID-19 vaccine is a safer choice. Can I get COVID-19 even if I am vaccinated? Some people who are fully vaccinated against COVID-19 will still get sick because no vaccine is 100% effective. However, even if you get sick with COVID-19 after vaccination, rates of getting severely ill and deaths are low. COVID-19 vaccines and the new variants of the virus Latest data suggests that COVID-19 vaccines authorized for use in the United States offer protection against most variants currently spreading in the United States. However, some variants might cause illness in some people even, if, even after they are fully vaccinated. If there are more vaccinated people around the world, the virus will have less chance to live and make new variants. Can a COVID-19 vaccine make me sick with COVID-19? COVID-19 vaccines cannot make you sick with COVID-19. COVID-19 vaccines don't have live virus inside. COVID-19 vaccines teach our immune system how to recognize and fight the virus. Sometimes this process can cause symptoms, such as fever. These symptoms are normal and are signs that the body is building protection against the virus that causes COVID-19. It typically takes a few weeks for the body to build protection against the virus after vaccination. That means it's possible a person could be infected with the virus that causes COVID-19 just before or just after vaccination and still get sick. This is because the vaccine has not had not enough time to provide protection. Can I get vaccinated against COVID-19 if I already had and recovered? You should be vaccinated regardless of whether you already have COVID-19. That's because experts do not know how long you are protected from getting sick again after recovering from COVID-19. If you were treated for COVID-19 with monoclonal antibodies and convalescent plasma, you should wait 90 days before getting a COVID-19 vaccine. Can I get vaccinated against COVID-19 while I am currently sick with COVID-19? People with COVID-19 who have symptoms or not should wait to be vaccinated until they have recovered from their illness and have met the criteria for discontinuing isolation. Can I get vaccinated if I have food allergies? CDC recommends that people get vaccinated even if they have a history of severe allergic reactions not related to vaccines or injectable medications such as food, pet, venom, environmental, or latex allergies. People with a history of allergies to oral medications or a family history of severe allergic reactions may also get vaccinated. Pregnancy, breastfeeding, and fertility. If you are pregnant or breastfeeding, you can receive a COVID-19 vaccine. If you are trying to become pregnant now or want to get pregnant in the future, you may get a COVID-19 vaccine too. There is currently no evidence that COVID-19 vaccination causes any problems with, with pregnancy or fertility. If I got a rash when I got the shot, can I get the second dose? Some people may get a red, itchy, swollen, or painful rash where they got the shot.
These rashes can start a few days to more than a week after the first shot and are sometimes quite large. These rashes are also known as COVID arm. If you experience COVID arm after getting the first shot, you should still get the second shot at the recommended interval if the vaccine you got needs the second shot. Tell your vaccination provider that you experience a rash or COVID arm after the first shot. Your vaccination provider may recommend that you get the second shot in the opposite arm. If the rash is itchy, you can take an antihistamine. If it is painful, you can take a pain medication like acetaminophen or a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug NSAID. Which vaccine should I choose? The best COVID-19 vaccine is the first one that is available to you. All currently authorized and recommended COVID-19 vaccines are safe, effective, and reduce your risk of severe illness. CDC does not recommend one vaccine over another. However, a woman younger than 50 years old should especially be aware of their increased risk for TTS, a rare adverse event of Johnson & Johnson Jason COVID-19 vaccine. There are other COVID-19 vaccines available for which this risk has not been seen. Currently, the Pfizer-BioNTech COVID-19 vaccine is the only one available to children aged 12 to 15 years. Can I get two different types of vaccines? Currently, research ongoing to mix and match different COVID vaccines. So far, it seems to be safe and effective, but more data needs to be collected to be sure. Myths and facts. Receiving a COVID-19 vaccine will not make you a magnetic, including at the site of vaccination, which is usually your arm. COVID-19 vaccines do not contain ingredients that can produce an electromagnetic field at the site of your injection. None of the vaccines authorized for use in the United States contain a live virus. COVID-19 vaccines do not change or interact with your DNA in any way. Your menstrual cycle cannot be affected by being near someone who received a COVID-19 vaccine. The federal government does not mandate vaccination for people. Additionally, CDC does not maintain or monitor a person's vaccination records. Find your reason to get vaccinated. Millions of people choose to get vaccinated for a reason to protect their family, to protect their children, to be less anxious, to visit their parents, or to get back to activities like seeing friends, visiting work, or returning to school. What is your reason? Let's get vaccinated and help the world overcome the pandemic.